Hey everyone, Justin Nacha Sakai here. Tesla has been saying that on upcoming software updates for full self driving, it will finally bring an end to end highway stack to be on par with what we have been using for the streets. Um, so, highways are still using the old stack, but there are some highways here in New Jersey that's actually using the new stack, like Highway 17 here. So, just gonna give it a test and see how it performs. All right, engaging full self driving. And let's go. Right, stop sign here, make a left turn, and get on the highway. Okay. So, sweet, just went over this nice pothole here. All right, let's get on the highway here. So we're here on Stateway Highway 17, State Highway 17, and it's currently using the new version 12 a stack because you can see right here, it's an auto max, meaning that you're not able to control the speed and you're actually able to use the end to end highway portion here. Only if you're using the older stack, you don't have the auto set speed available for it. So I have minimal lane changes turned off and I'm in the assertive setting, so we'll see how it goes. Actually, let's do minimal lane changes on because I actually don't want to change lane that much, and that's what I prefer. Just kind of stay in one lane unless and change lanes only when it's needed. So we'll see how this performs. So the speed limit here is 50, and it's going at uh, 54, 55. All right, minimal lane changes is turned on, and yet. I'm changing lanes and it's not telling me why. Again, it's changing lanes again here and it's not telling me why. It's probably because this car is going to a little bit too slow. So it's moving ahead to speed past it, which it is doing. And now there's another car right behind me and just past me. So I would have been totally fine staying at the uh, middle lane. Right now we're moving back. And all of this is not telling me why we're doing it. It's just doing it for me. But I much prefer it kind of just staying in a single lane and not need it to move so much. That's one of the biggest frustrations I have using full self driving here on um, Highway 17. going 10, 11 miles above the speed limit. So it's going at 61. Speed limit here is 50. Time is about uh, 7.15 p.m. So traffic's a little bit lighter. We're changing lanes and I don't know why we're doing it. It just does it. Again, probably because it seems it's crowded on the lane here and it's moving to a slightly more emptier lane. So even with the minimal lane changes turned on, it still made all those lane changes. So right here, this lane will end, and we are merged back. All right, blinkers on, moves over. So we're on the local street now, so we're still using version 12. Trying to move over. It's Carl letting me, but also traffic not taking it. Okay, now we're moving over here. 
So right here, you can see it's a 64 max instead of auto max speed. Indicates that this just switched back to using the older software stack. So yeah, pretty much now that when I do make a lane change or if it does make a lane change, it will tell me why. And But because I have minimal lane change turned on, it's not gonna make that much lane changes unless it has to or unless the um, the route requires the car to do so. So using full self-driving on the highway on version 12, actually like the newer stack, I feel it does a really good job. It's just the lane changes that happens that I don't need it to make all those lane changes. I haven't seen any cases for me at least when I'm using it here that I need to like disengage or take over because it does a pretty good job there. Again, it's just those lane changes that I wish it would stop making or at least if, if it is making a lane change, at least let me know why it's making the lane change. On the highway here, as we all know, this is version 11. It has done pretty much a decent job, a good job that it should be fine getting me to where I need to go. And I'll definitely speed up all these boring parts because nothing's like nothing is likely to happen. So like right here, because I have minimal lane change turned on, and it's going 40 when the speed limit is 55 and it could go at 64. It's not changing lanes, but if I turn this part off, it's indicating right away, it's changing lanes into a faster lane. So that's immediately saw the difference. I turn it off and it made a lane change and it's now going a little bit too slow. So let me bump up the speed here to 60. flow of traffic here so that's like the one thing we notice once I turn off minimal lane change it does make the lane change so that's kind of the how I can differentiate or how you can differentiate between version 11 and version 12 on the highways okay right here again we're changing lane into a faster lane but we're going 60 and now there's a car right behind me and I'm not going that much faster so that's why I want to have minimal lane change turn on. But again, this is using version 11. This is the older stack software. Right, we're choosing the right fork to stay on the route. Exit 72 right here. All right, drop the speed limit down to 55. Forty-five now, and now we're back on sort of like um, back to switching over to the version twelve stack. So you can see it, the speed limit went away, and it's under auto max. Okay, making a left turn here, so we're on the streets now. So pretty much so far, halfway into the trip, I haven't needed to touch the steering wheel and I just pretty much stare out the screen. It is a really good experience on the highways for the most part. It's the local streets that definitely needs more work because a lot of things could happen on the local streets compared to highway, it's pretty much just drive straight. I'm just going to disengage to avoid that puddle of liquid that the driver in front of me poured out just to avoid it a little bit and then re-engaging. So right here, see, we're, we should be going a little bit more faster than here, but because we're under the highway stack version 12, you can't really make the car go faster unless you push on the pedal. 
and now it's upping its speed because it's seeing that it's 55 and I'm still pushing on the pedal a little bit to just make sure it can uh, catch up. Right, now it's back to using the old highway stack. Here you can control the speed at 64. Um, but I'm going to move it a little faster because it's just not going fast enough to be on this lane. Right, auto five speed for emergency lights. There are no emergency lights here, and they just slow down, and it should not be doing that, especially if I'm going at this speed and there are cars behind me. So there was no emergency lights, so I have to push on the pedal. Should not be slowing down when there are no emergency lights. And at the speed I'm going, slowing down like that, it's definitely not a good idea. But this is again using the version 11 stack, so not the newer software. Alright, we're changing links here to follow route. Autopilot speed limited for emergency light. Again, I'm keep on seeing this pop up, which is not true. There is no emergency lights here, and it definitely should not be slowing down going at this speed. Definitely cars right behind me. So we're right here, we're now we're back using version 12. Okay, so I'm just going to push on the pedal a little bit. It's going a bit slow here. Speed limit is 35. It's going at 33. There's cars behind me. And I'm going to push on the pedal a little more. The space between me and the other car in front of me is a little bit too wide, uh, too big. And there's cars behind me, so I'm going to push it so it can go a little bit faster. Right, right here, we could probably go to the right side to avoid this car, but it didn't do that. Okay, there's a car parked to the side right here. Moves over, moves back. Good job on that. Turn here. Right, getting into the parking lot from here. Take me straight to my destination, right here. Let's see where it's going now. Okay, just not sure where it's going. Okay, oh, is it? Trying to find a parking spot. Okay, this is amazing. It literally went and found a parking spot for me. I think this is the first time I have seen Autopilot did that, but that's amazing. That was amazing. That actually drove and found a parking spot right here. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, so this is how a robo taxi. Nope. Don't go anymore. Don't go anymore. No, 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 no. Don't go anymore. Um, I guess yeah. I haven't pressed brake, so it continues. It wanted to continue going, but really amazing that it uh, found a parking spot for me which is really cool great drive great drive no disengagement the one i did doesn't really count but i did have to press the pedal a couple of times just the uh, emergency lights that never happened um on the highways version 12 is great just too much lane changes version 11 it's going a little bit too slow sometimes i have to speed up to catch up when to other cars when i'm using version 11 but super excited i actually went and find a parking spot for me here at the parking lot 
Hope you guys enjoy watching version 12 on the highway. I'll be doing more testing on it, so definitely stay subscribed to see more videos of that. And uh, let me know what you think about this drive down in the comments below.